if I walk up there, <laughs> see, that is a joke. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. thing I have ever heard of. There's this hot dog uh, joint that's supposed to be open. Basically, uh, the owners put the signs out that say now open, now hiring. Well, the last week and a half, people have been coming down to get hot dogs. And nobody has been able to uh, sell anything because uh, they still need one more health inspection. And it's really funny. See, crossing the street now, but I am headed to um, a gathering at a, uh, at a house for uh, people that celebrate Purim. Yes, as I said, I'm Jewish. Uh, what is Purim? Purim is a holiday that is very much like Halloween uh, for Jews. The only difference is we don't have goblins, we don't have gold, ghouls, we don't have ghosts. Um, it's in the uh, uh, it's in the springtime when all the blooms are starting to come out, or in very late winter for those of you in the northern part of the U.S., like the Northeast, New York, Chicago. Uh, the weather is uh, the snow is starting to melt, or you're on the uh, tail end of your blizzards and all that. But uh, Purim is just like Mardi Gras. And I'm going to an event for a little bit, and then I'm going to go home and go to bed. Um, hopefully, I could uh, do some vlogging at uh, this party and introduce you to uh, one of the coolest people who I've known for uh, three years now. Uh, met him right around the time that I got my job here at Georgia State University. Uh, I started going to the events and we just, we just, uh, connection wise, uh, this guy that I took off and uh, he's a filmmaker. He's, he is a film major and uh, he's now the director of the Georgia State University Hillel and he's really, really cool. So I'm pretty sure that this dude will want to be in my vlogs and hopefully uh, some of his roommates will too. But. He has the, his roommates have the coolest dog. Uh, he's an Australian Shepherd. He has beautiful blue eyes. He's uh, he's a year old. He's very playful, very fast, and he can jump on the couch like um, a small cat or a smaller dog. He's just amazing. Back when it was uh, around noon today, and I was headed to. Uh, Speaking of Hillel's Lunch and Learn, and I knew that the forecast uh, was uh, scheduled to rain, and I saw that the clouds were uh, turning darker, so I knew that it would rain any time. So, I, stay, so um, I just didn't know how much. I thought it would just be a light rain. Ha! What a joke that was. Basically, um, I got up on this escalator there and uh, getting ready to get myself something to eat and it was pouring out. Well, people were waiting for the, the, the freak rainstorm to, uh, to let up, right? 
and said, I went out once and I thought, I'm not risking that. But I eventually got to a point and I told myself, don't let that ruin my, my day. I'm going to go have lunch, I'm hungry. So I stepped out in the rain and it was pouring. I mean, I had my raincoat on, no umbrella. And I took my purse and I tucked it under my jacket tried everything I can to, uh, to stay dry. Well, water still got inside of my shirt. I had makeup on earlier, and the rainwater got in my eyes and started burning. One of my eyes was closed. I stepped in several puddles, and because, because of it, I was soaking wet today at, um, at Hillel. My hair was wet, like I just got out of the shower. <laughs> and actually, uh, my socks are still wet, and to top it all off, because we still have puddles, I mean, it's starting to clear up now. Uh, my socks are still wet. And they're even, they got wet again because I stepped through a big puddle on my way back here to the train station. Good. And this is Nicholas. No, that's Ori. No, no, Ori. I bet you were Nick at first. This no. is Ori. Hey. hey. Awesome. You guys have uh, things to drink. You guys we have Hamantash in here? We do. We do. Yeah. Pop a squat, Maya. I will pop a squat. So, what's your name? Elena. Elena, nice to meet you. And this is Blue. Um, I to See, I told you she looks like a, or he looks like a marble cake YouTube. All right. Happy dog. Blue. Maya. Yep. Maya, right? Maya, yes. Hi, Maya. Yeah. Hi, Maya. Hi. Hi. Yep. That's uh, so you were on here. Maya, we were just about to uh, yeah, just drink just our first l'chaim. Do you want to join yeah. us? I don't think I can get drunk, but you I think I'd have, have drunk, a drink. Do you want to drink one? Yes. Drink? Yes, uh, please. Yes. What are we drinking? Whatever you want. Whatever you we got. Want. I'm out here now, waiting for the bus, uh, trying to get home tonight. Uh, that was a really, really good gathering of people. We just sat around and uh, talked about all things uh, Purim, which uh, I don't remember what that means, but it was fun. We just sat around, we ate kosher pickles. Uh, there were uh, things to drink, but I have to be careful. I almost thought of staying all night, uh, but I just decided that it wasn't a good idea. So. Uh, I'm in the process of waiting for this bus, but it was what they call a lit gathering of people, and uh, they don't to drink all the time, but uh, on Tuesday, Gaby Baby threw a, um, a gathering of uh, people, or he threw a movie night for the movie Dunkirk. I don't know how in the world he got uh, rights to that movie but it's up for an Academy Award this weekend uh, that was really fun but uh, he served a uh, or they seemed to serve a popcorn there that uh, had a coconut oil in it but to tell you a little bit more about this group uh, this is a group called the Moisha House and it's a uh, a Jewish group for uh, adults in their mid 30s or into their, their mid 20s to the late 30s and 40s and uh, they're a very, very nice group of people. And I mean, I've been doing Moisha House for uh, quite a few years now, off and on. Uh, they do things like barbecues. Uh, the last guy that lived there, that was sort of the director, uh, he was a musician and he lives now in Israel. But the new guy that's taken over there is my friend Gabe. And uh, Gabe's into film and uh, the other guy was into music. Um, this Sunday, they're going to do uh, hiking. I don't think I will be able to make the Sunday uh, meet up with Moisha House, but they do a lot of things there and a lot of events that uh, are interesting to me and I can uh, always get off work and go there afterwards. So. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe and 
give me a thumbs up. I'm out of time. Also, be sure to check out my social media pages. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, um, and check out the, uh, the links below. Um, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off. Bye.